The other thing, though, that we need to be confident of is the type 1a supernova part of the distance ladder. And there I had mentioned that we have to calibrate them because it turns out that although they all explode in about the same way, they come from a type of star known as a white dwarf, which our sun will become in about seven or eight billion years. Um, it'll be about half the mass of the sun compressed into a volume the size of Earth. So it's very, very dense. It's a type of matter, as you know, called degenerate matter by quantum physicists, not because it's morally reprehensible or anything like that, but that's just the term we give to it. But anyway, our own sun will be a solitary white dwarf and it won't explode. But a white dwarf in a binary system can steal material in some circumstances from the other star, grow in mass and reach a critical mass, at which point an uncontrolled thermonuclear reaction destroys the whole star and makes it a couple of billion times as powerful as the sun. So we think that that occurs in about the same way each time. And indeed, for the type 1a supernovae in nearby galaxies, to a first approximation, we can confirm that they're all about the same. But the devil is in the details. And when you're looking at the expansion of the universe, the details are important. And we find that some are more luminous than average and some are less luminous at peak than average. So they're not exactly standard. In fact, I don't quite like the term standard candle that many astronomers use, but they're standardizable. It's like they're not all 100 watt light bulbs. Some are 90, some are 107 and a half or whatever, but there's a way of reading the label on the type 1a supernova light bulb. And that's the following. We've empirically, observationally found that the ones that are more luminous at peak also rise and decline in brightness more slowly than average. And then the ones that are less luminous at peak rise and decline more quickly than average. So it's a little bit like a Cepheid type relationship. And it was discovered by Mark Phillips in 1993, so about 30 years ago. And that's what made type 1a supernovae into a precision cosmological distance indicator. 